guys, I just wanted to show you tomorrow we're having a play date and I'm setting up this for a gingerbread party. And I built the houses, they're just mini houses. I had a lot of trouble with them, some of them wouldn't meet up. But I got them together and I think once we decorate it you won't even notice. I really dislike putting houses together, I always have problems. But I love the decorating part. So we've got all these jars of candies. I bought extra gumdrop jelly beans. And I don't know if we'll use the jelly beans, they're so big. Then I've got sprinkles and more gumdrops. Um, so sprinkles. And then if we have time, we're going to do a craft. Two crafts I have. And the first one is, I got these foam sheets at the Dollar Tree and when I went back to get different ones, I didn't have any. Um, I was going to get some for my son, but this is fine. This is the gingerbread theme. I also got these. Not sure what to do with these, so I'm just putting in the bag and they can figure out what they want to do. Um, so that's a little extra foam piece. And then we've got googly eyes pom-poms they can stick on a candy cane and this is a bit of the pipe cleaner so yeah right now I'm bagging these up along with these gingerbread houses I printed this offline what they do is color it in and then you take one of the paper bags and you glue it on so it's up to them how they want to color it it's just one of the lunch bags. I got them at the dollar store. It's a dollar for one pack. And I thought maybe they could put their houses in here. I don't know if it'd be stable enough, but that's what I was thinking. So over here, I have them bagged up ready to go. In case we don't get time, we can they can just take them home with them and finish it at home. So that's our gingerbread party. I'll show you what else I made. For the party, I found this house at Michael's and it was one of the coloring houses. So I went on a mission and I found the big candy canes at a discount craft store and the little ones too. The gumdrops I made out of Easter egg foams <laughs> that I had in the basement. So I just cut the top off, or the, yeah, the top off from the egg and made them look like gumdrops. The little gingerbread I got at Michael's. I got a little bit of glitter around the outside. The pink plate I had from the previous party to make it look like a big candy. I added lights here and also inside is lights. The kids can actually go inside it. It's really cool. And then I had the Santa Claus. I painted everything. I painted it all brown. For the shingles, I kind of got tired of painting, <laughs> so I just did a couple pink. I thought it didn't really matter. I found this little set at Michael's. I was going to use it on my Christmas tree, but I'm like, this looks so cute. It's like it's Santa's gingerbread house. And then I just stuck these bits of um, snow looking effect on. So I'm really excited for the kids to see it tomorrow and see what they think about it. There's two doors. There's one door at the back too, so I may bring it out to the middle of the room. Maybe I'll move the coffee table and then they can go in and out of the house. So yeah, I'm excited. I've got these gingerbreads up here too, so I've got a whole theme going on for the party. Thanks for watching.